isn't that... Doc. Huh? Hey.
Really, guys? Yagami san. Huh? Hey. Hmm. <laughs> so.
Dagami-san. Um, this is Sari. What's up, Sari-san? You don't usually call me. I haven't been able to reach Shintani-sensei. It keeps going to voicemail. He hasn't picked up since he left the office after talking to you. Mm-hmm. And? Didn't you say the Kyori clan was after him? Yeah, he'll be fine. I just wanted to give him a scare. Okay, still. Could you try him for me? Sometimes he ignores my calls. Maybe he'll pick up for you. Are you sure we're talking about the same guy? <laughs> but I might as well. Can't hurt to try. Shintani here. Uh, hey, Shintani-sensei. It's Tak. Where are you? No, what the f You've reached the voicemail box of the one and only Masamichi Shintani, Genda Law Office's finest attorney. Shintani. Leave your legal troubles after the beep. The Tojo clan is struck by Kyure clan gunfire. Kamarocho's disarray only spreads wider. On the surface, the diagram resembles a Yakuza turf war. But in the shadows are glimpses of a construction firm and political influence. And in Yagami's own shadow, the mole's sharp claws claim yet another victim. What do you mean he's dead? Didn't you just say... Everything would be okay. Stay calm, sorry, son. I'm just as shocked as you. But I think the mole is responsible. <sighs> Have you contacted the police? No, not yet. You should do that right away then. Do you think you could make the call, sorry, son? What? I need time to check things out before the cops show up and take over. Please. Yeah, okay. Thanks.
это. Suspicious. We received a call from the Genda Law Office. You got here fast, Detective Kuroiwa. Shintani, huh? Yeah. His name has been coming up a lot lately. He's the reason Hamura walked, after all. <laughs> Perhaps you couldn't stand his newfound fame so you often. Huh? I heard you two weren't exactly on good terms. <laughs> Do you greet everyone by accusing them of murder? Guess that's just how cops like you operate. Forensics will be here soon. 
We will need you present as a resident of the property. After that, we'll need some time to investigate. How long? We'll have to find somewhere else to stay tonight at the very least. I don't have money for that. Yet you can afford bribing a cop. Firebase sources aren't even that reliable. Don't know what you mean. Oh, I'm sure you do. Yeah, sorry. I had to wait around for the cops to get here. Is Genda-sensei still at the office? Yes. He wants to talk to you about Shintani. As do I. Hoshino, too. Okay, I'll head over now. See you soon.
Hm? Vision. No one defies their fate. It's inevitable. Ah, uh, Soto. It's me. Yagami-san.
do wrong.
Yeah. <laughs> hmm? Excuse me.
Wait a sec. I know you've had a rough night, Yagami. But if you're up to it, can you tell us what happened to Shintani? Sari-san was having trouble getting in touch with Shintani. So I decided to give him a call myself, see what the deal was. But when I dialed him up, I heard the phone ringing in my closet. Shintani was killed the same way as all the others. The others? Do you mean his eyes were... Gouged out, yeah. But Shintani's beef was with the Kyore clan. Why would the Mole target him? I'm not so sure. It sounded like he knew something when you talked earlier. Right. Think this is some kind of Yakuza pissing contest, do ya? Come on! The mole is way bigger than you know. He probably knew more about the mole than I did. And his source had to have been Hamra. Maybe they killed him to keep their secret safe. But... Uh, why did he have to put Shintani-sensei's body in your office? Not sure. Maybe to harass me? Maybe to scare me off their trail? <laughs> Maybe both. Yagami. Hmm? You might want to lay low for a bit. It's not safe for you here. Get out of town. Go somewhere quiet. If the mole comes after you next... Right. I'll do just that, Genda-sensei. You know, I watched over Shintani since his first day as a lawyer. Kid had a good head on his shoulders, and a knack for the job I could never compete with. But he didn't have the guts to succeed when push came to shove. Not the most persistent lawyer I've seen. 
Even so, he looked up to me. Guess I took it for granted. Thought he'd always be part of the team. When I first joined, Shintani-sensei was the one who showed me the ropes. He was a reliable man. Thanks for this, Yagami. Come on, Sarikun. I'll walk you to the station. Sure. Feel free to stay here tonight, Yagami. <laughs> I appreciate it. What about you, Hoshinokun? I think I'll work a little more before I head home. <sighs> if you say so. Good night. Good night, boss. Make yourself at home, Yagami-san. I'll leave you the key. You've been here way longer anyway. You deserve it more than me. Um, Yagami-san, do you have a minute? Sure, what's up? Well, it's about Shintani-sensei. Yagami-san, I know you just told Genda-sensei you're gonna lay low, but that's not true, is it? You want to keep hunting down this killer. And if I said yes? Don't worry, I won't tell Genda-sensei, but in return... Hmm? I want to help you. Look for the mole, that is. I won't slow you down. I promise. Looking to avenge Shintani, huh? <sighs> He wasn't as strong as he let on. The tough guy act was a mask he wore to hide his insecurities. Deep down, he was just weak. That's why he was going along with Hamura, not because he wanted to. I mean, who can say no to a Yakuza? And now look how it turned out. I was sitting right next to him this whole time. Yet there was nothing I could do to help. You know, I'm still young. I don't even know what kind of lawyer I want to be. Criminal? Civil? Not the slightest idea. But I know one thing. I don't want to be the kind of lawyer who sits on his hands after his friend gets murdered. Which means... Are you sure about this, Hoshino? Genda-sensei told me to lay low. If you're seen helping me... Don't worry about that. I'll defend myself in court if I need to. Now, Yagami-san. Do you mind if I tag along? <laughs> You'll just tell Genda-sensei if I refuse, huh? Yeah, you got that right. Not much choice then. Welcome aboard. Glad to be working with you. Well, let's get down to business. First off, I want to know what Shintani was doing before he died. And I have some evidence that may tell us just that. Shintani dialed this number earlier today. I want to know where it goes. Right. That makes sense. It's a good thing the killer forgot to take Shintani's phone, huh? This way we can see who he was calling. The killer didn't forget. Even if the phone was gone, we'd still be able to get Shintani's data from his provider. Really? I had no idea. Yep. I bet he left the phone so I'd find the body quicker. Huh? I mean, he went through the trouble of hiding it in my office of all places. Probably wanted to cause as much chaos as possible, you know? Hey! The number got a hit in the search! It's apparently for the, uh, Advanced Drug Development Center? What the hell? What, do you know it? Three years ago. There was a pretty famous murder there. A patient was killed, and their body dumped in the mountains. And the man they arrested for it was named Shinpei Okubo. Okubo, Okubo. Wait, he was your client, wasn't he? He worked as a contract laundry man for the center. 
Every two or three days, he'd stop by to pick up their dirty linens. According to the police report, it was thought he carried the body out in a bundle of sheets. Right. And you defended him in court and won. But then he... he got free and... You can stop there. But why would Shintani-sensei have called the ADDC? Who would he even talk to? I bet we'll find out if we give them a ring. But it's getting late. You should go home. We both need some shut-eye, yeah? Yeah, we can start fresh tomorrow. Where do we want to meet? Oh, right. <laughs> we want to keep this a secret from Genda Sensei, after all. There's an arcade called Charles up on Park Boulevard. That should work for now. Okay. I'll let Kaito-san know. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'll see you.